dunes are popular with tourists who come to ride camels or go sledding or to see another unique natural phenomenon. South of the town among the dunes lies Crescent Lake. For more than 2,000 years it's been fed by subterranean springs. It's long been a favourite subject of photographer Sun Huan Hua. The lake used to be much bigger and deeper. It's said to have been 10 metres deep. Older people would always say you couldn't reach the bottom. But now it's dwindled away and it's not as deep anymore. Only about 3 metres. The lake is slowly drying up. Xinjiang's peach orchard is still a lush green, but farming and the booming tourist trade continue to drain off much of the groundwater. Normally, we get water once or twice a month. It's regulated. We prune the trees in the spring to keep them from growing too big and using too much water. Fertilizer helps a little. The farmer gets the equivalent of about six euros per kilo of dried peaches. It's hard work for a yearly income of about 50,000 won or some 4,000 euros. The desert is advancing, up to four meters per year. And it's hard for Hien to understand why the government is making his work as a farmer more difficult. We're limited by the government. I have areas by the dunes that I'm not allowed to use either for growing crops or grazing animals. We get too little water. So Hien is jumping on the tourist bandwagon. He's bought a camel. And the family has set up 10 yurts in their yard that they rent out to tourists for a bit of extra income. Some of Dunhuang's just under 200,000 residents like to relax in the desert on the weekend. They barbecue meat in the peach orchard and take walks in the dunes. They should definitely preserve this place. It's good that so many tourists are coming. That brings in revenues, and the money can be used to protect the environment. But too much tourism can also be harmful. More people coming to the oasis also means more water consumption. It's a vicious circle that's hard to stop once it started. All too often, solving one problem simply creates another, but at least it can buy some time. <laughs> at the Research Institute in Lanzhou, Professor Qi Chan Jun has been investigating the interaction of man and desert for more than 30 years. The central problem is the water supply. The rivers Shula and Danga no longer exist. Centuries of intensive farming have lowered the groundwater level. And that's going to be the problem in the future. Professor Qi Jian's students evaluate soil samples. If the sand's water content falls below 4%, the dunes are vulnerable to wind erosion. They destabilize and start to wander. Wind corridors are designed to prevent the desert from spreading. At first, scientists tried putting up wind breaks made of straw. But now straw is hard to find along the edges of the oasis. The newer fences are made of plastic. Once grass and brush grow between them, the erosion will slow down. Legend has it that the city of Yangguan, just 70 kilometers away, was swallowed by a sandstorm. The Chinese cabinet has earmarked 650 million euros to fund a 10-year plan and spared Dunhuang a similar fate. <laughs>